What's up guys, my name is The Kiss Bandit and I'm here with... Michelle Slater. Hey, how would you summarize this whole event? And what oh, you, wow. And how you came about with Barak Israel yes. with this complete event? Barak Israel, run by Noam. Um, when we met him, it was probably about like two years ago. Mm -hmm. And he was new to the country and he had just brought in his Israeli wines. And he came and did a wine tasting at our office. Um, I won't tell you how it goes, but basically at one point he locked us in the office and said no one's leaving here until you're drunk. That's and I was like, I like this guy. That's kidnapping. <laughs> that's kidnapping. What do you mean you like this guy? That's, did, that's kidnapping. Because he kidnapped us and there was alcohol and I was like, he's a good person. <laughs> so we met him about two years ago. Yeah. Um, and he was doing amazing things within the event space. Yeah. Um, and we knew that we wanted to do a beer festival. Mm -hmm. um, so we did a wine festival with him earlier this year and then now we're doing the beer festival. Um, but I think it's a marriage of two you know, strengths because he's incredibly good at day events. Um, and what we're good at as Eat Out is you know, bringing the crowds, bringing in new concepts, getting the clients on board. He I mean, also we have, has an amazing crowd. He, amazing crowd. And I think the, the crazy thing is we've got over 40 different beers here today. Mm -hmm. um, so it's probably the most like, comprehensive beer festival that's ever happened in Nairobi, which mm -hmm. is very exciting. So. When you go out, what yeah. does Mimsy drink? Mimsy drinks everything, but I will tell you about today. Yeah. So today I'm really excited about the craft beers. Uh -huh. So all the beers that are actually locally brewed, um, and from, you know, I'm having one right now from, from 254. From which company? So this is from 254. Oh, that's the name? Yeah. Okay. So this is really interesting. I actually went and asked the owner, I'm like, which one's your favorite? And he gave me his favorite. Mm. Um, but everyone's just got like really interesting stories behind the beers that they're brewing. Mm. So definitely the international brands have, you know, great things to offer. But I was very excited about the craft beers today. What are people looking forward to the whole of next week? Because that's the most important thing for whoever yes. missed or who couldn't make it to the event. Yes. What can they expect next week? Because next week is like Nairobi. It's a beer, beer week. week. Yeah. Yeah. And it comes at the perfect time because everyone's just been paid. Yeah. Yeah. So from the first until the seventh, yeah. we're going to be doing all these different beer deals at over, I think it's over 30 restaurants doing it. Uh -huh. So they're going to be bucket deals. They're going to be two for one deals. Uh -huh. And then they're going to be beer and food combo deals as well mm. so that means that literally for a whole any, week any few restaurants that you can mention so just in case so that you just know in case you you live I around knew he somewhere was gonna ask me this question so i even brought up my list i have so, more, i have more questions oh, but then my phone they're more so phone. okay uh -huh. we've got two for one deals happening at art cafe at the nest at news cafe at nyama mama we've got bucket deals happening at the arba kengeles mercado and a mm. few others and then you've got meal and food combos yeah. meal and beer combos rather happening at lord arrow k1 mm -hmm. sierra oh my god sierra have a beer today that they is like a, a they've beer. got a beer today that's on draft it's a seasonal beer uh -huh. they've called it oktoberfest and you can't get it in the bottles like you can only get it now so can we say yeah. confidently that that's your favorite beer today hey all beers are my favorite today <laughs> but i highly recommend it i've already had two yeah, yeah. i don't know if you can tell you right. always drank anyway so i mean oh! If you couldn't make it today, yeah. make sure you download the Etal app. And yeah. through the Etal app, that's how you're going to be able to claim your beers. Also, we're giving away free beers next week as well. And it's only if you have the Etal app. So if you uh -huh. want free beers, if you want to take how someone on a cheap date, wait. download no, no, the app. No, 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 listen, listen. <laughs> and here's a very big misconception. You know, if you take uh, a lady on a date and you buy her beer, yeah. are you being a cheapo? No. What do, what do you drink when you go out? anything and everything it, no, it depends you can't, on the come on, you can't drink everything so it depends and on the night so if i'm going out for a dinner i'll yeah. probably have wine yeah if i'm going out for like a live gig i'll probably have a beer or a vodka um, do, you have, do you have any ratchet moments that you know of course do we do not all have i don't do you i mean have ratchet I, moments? I don't i don't speak for yourself i have ratchet moments and i'm not even ashamed Ooh. but <laughs> i think there's a time and a place for everything yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it's not nice it's not like it easy mm -hmm. yeah so somebody can take you out yeah assuming you're still single somebody can take you out i'm, I'm joking i'm joking i'm joking i'm joking <laughs> <laughs> that's a big joke. i'm gonna get in trouble over here. i don't know why you're trying to get me in trouble <laughs> no 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 i'm playing i'm playing that's a joke yeah a beer is also appropriate for a date right most definitely yeah most definitely and to me to be honest like some of the hottest chicks i know yeah they drink beer there you go I feel like that was an indirect compliment, so I'm just going to take that. It is a compliment. It is a compliment. It is a compliment. No, honestly, I feel yeah. like it's one of those things where maybe if the person doesn't know much about beer, yeah, yeah. it's like...
that's a great way to like learn. You and know, there's learn so many that. varieties. You don't have maybe you tasted something that's yeah. not good for you, but if you yes. find the perfect beer, exactly, you can always have like a nice chilled out. Exactly. You know. Like even today, we've got some people that are not doing beers; they're doing like ciders. Yeah. And ciders are, I feel, like a good way to kind of enter into the, you know, the kind of beer drinking because it's sweeter. Put yeah, it close to your lips. Sorry. Not yeah. too close to my lips. Oh, I guess so. Um, but yeah, like it's it's. Ciders, you know, ciders are a great entry point. Right. Then you also have some another, beers that are lighter. As another well. very important question: What's the difference between a cider and a beer? What they're made from. Which is? Yeah. So if you look at a cider, you'll find that it's the base is apples. If is you what? Then, apples. So oh, apple okay. cider. Yeah. So then it's sweet. Mm. But the interesting thing is, like, so if you look at, like, we've got Alaska here today. Yeah. So they've got interesting ciders that are, you know, they've got like kiwi flavors and lemon flavors. Really interesting stuff. It's a Swedish brand. Uh -huh. um, but beers are, you know, mainly from like your hops and your barley and all that kind of stuff. So it's basically the difference is in what the base ingredient is. Mm. But I'm, I'm, I'm no crazy I'm expert. <laughs> <laughs> That's now, the father of my child, by the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now you know. Now. So go onto the website. You yeah. can see all the details there. But better than that, download the app. Because Make then you sure. can get some free beers. Yeah, right? yeah. And there are always so many other amazing discounts like in the app. Just go there. Oh, yeah. That's the whole thing about the, the visa and... Yes. Everything. Do you want to plug that man, in? Good man. Good man. He's letting me plug everything from our app. Listen. Okay. So next week we someone got has some. to do it. If I don't, I know, who else will? I was trying not to be shameless. Plus, I, I do my homework and research. <laughs> uh -huh. So we've got these deals running with Visa. Um, so from next week, they're going to be doing a coffee and pastry deal at our cafe. Yeah. And then we've also got Nyama Mama who are doing free chai as well. And all of this is through the app. Completely so, free. Completely free. There's the no strings attached. Uh, then your mama Macha is lovely. Oh, okay. um, the pastries and coffee at our cafe, amazing. Oh, amazing. So I think the whole point of the Eta app is it's meant to be encouraging people to go try something different. Yeah. Um, I think sometimes we get a little bit paranoid about what something's going to cost us. Exactly, this gives you a yeah, reason exactly. to be like, okay, yeah. I get something a little bit free. So it incentivizes me to then, you know, maybe Actually, try a little try, bit more. Try something else. Yeah. And so be com confident and comfortable going exactly, somewhere. Exactly, yeah. Just, you know. The Eta app, I mean, when we first started it, you know, it was basically just information about restaurants but now it's it's evolved into this whole thing where it's about you know the greatest offers and deals that you can find for restaurants and bars in Nairobi so please mm. download the app you won't regret it at all so see you guys uh, yeah. in another interview with Mimsy of course of course she's the eat out Kenya general manager general manager you know, <laughs> you know. now you know now you know now you know